Hello friends, this video on anatomy of flowering plants part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so with this we have reached towards the end of discussion on the internal structure of root, stem and leaf. So now what we are going to talk about is secondary growth. Now you might be wondering what is secondary growth now. This lesson was meant to be, uh, this lesson was meant to understand the internal structure of plant parts and that we already did. But we missed out to discuss something very very important. We talked about the meristematic tissue, we talked about the epical meristem, we talked about the lateral meristem, but we did not talk about secondary growth. We talked about the fact that the monopod stem and the monopod root do not have vascular cambium, therefore they do not have secondary growth. But the dicots have secondary growth. But what is this secondary growth actually? How secondary growth takes place? How cambium causes secondary growth? That is what we will study in this section. So before I talk about secondary growth, let us start from the basics. What is growth? The picture itself is telling you a baby elephant growing into a bigger elephant or a small plant gradually growing into a bigger plant. That is what is growth for all of us, right? So growth is nothing but a positive change in size over a period of time. So that is growth. Right? Now we use this term growth in many different aspects. We talk of our career growth. We say that when you get good promotion, when you are rising high, when you are learning more things, you say that you are growing in your career. We say that a plant is growing when the plant increases in its size. What do we mean by increase in size? Does that mean only increase in length or it also means an increase in the girth or an increase in the width as well. So that is what we'll see here. So when I talk about growth, there are two types of growth which are involved in any plant. One is primary growth and the second is secondary growth. When I say primary growth, it basically talks about the growth of roots and stems lengthwise. So basically the height of the plant increases. So here if you see, this was the height of the plant. But the stem increased in height or in length. Similarly, the root would have also increased in length. Here, the stem increased even further. The roots would have also increased deep down the soil. So this growth lengthwise is termed as primary growth. What causes this primary growth? The epical meristems which are present at the root and the shoot tips. They cause primary growth. They cause increase in length. When I say secondary growth, we talk about the growth of roots and stem girth wise. So here if you see the thickness, it is very very thin. If you compare it with this, it is little more thicker. Now if you compare it with this, it is even more thicker. So gradually as the plant is growing, the thickness of the stem as well as the thickness of the root is also increasing. So that increase in girth is called secondary growth. And what causes secondary growth? The lateral meristems cause secondary growth. And what are these lateral meristems? They are nothing but cambium. Cambium is another name of lateral meristems. So in this section, we will focus on the lateral meristems or the secondary growth. Now talking about the primary growth. How do the primary growth take place? Let us suppose this is a small plant. Okay. Now let us suppose you mark a point here at this point. Now what do you think will happen when the plant increases in height? Will this point which you mark also shift? No, absolutely not because it is growing only from the tip. So if only from here it is increasing. This point will still remain somewhere around here. Even when the plant grows further, the point where you had put that mark will still remain here because it is not increasing from middle, it is basically increasing from the tip. So that is what is primary growth. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, Find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.